All right, hey, shortwave listeners. It's December 27th. You can tell it's right after Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, one thing I wanted to show was a couple of new things I picked up over the last year. I haven't broadcast on this channel in over a year, and I've picked up a, a few things. One thing I have done is picked up my amateur radio license, but I'm still a shortwave listener, and I wanted to do a little comparison. So, as you can see here, I have the Sony SW7600GR. Uh, that I've shown in previous videos, <clears throat> but I've also picked up a new transceiver for my license. You can see here the Yazoo FT891. And one thing I'd like to do, oops, sorry, get it in focus, there we go. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is do some comparisons between these two to show a little bit about just how good the Sony really is. Um, additionally, I no longer have the PAR NFED SWL outside. I have now a new uh, multi-band and fed my antennas 4010 um, I'm using for my amateur license so one of the things I'd like to do is just show you a short comparison of uh, the quality of the signals you can see that both both of the uh, the transceiver and the receiver are connected to the and fed antenna through that t-junction and we'll do a comparison on some shortwave frequencies we'll probably just do one tonight but I'll do some others later so you can see this um, just see the, the quality of the Sony as compared to the Yezu and really the comparison is more about the antenna than it's going to be about the receiver. All right, so we'll get started here in just a minute. All right, we'll start with the Sony. We're gonna to listen to 4980 kilohertz, the People's Broadcasting Service of China, uh, Xinjiang. Uh, we will uh, take a listen to the audio and the signal strength on both receivers. So let's turn on the Sony. Forgive me as I move around. jump over the signals aren't very strong right now let's jump over to the Yezu. You can tell the Yezu doesn't have a very good speaker as compared to the Sony. It sounds a little tinnier although I am on the narrow filter right now. I will change that in a minute but uh, let's keep listening. Let's go back to the Sony. A little nicer sound on the Sony with that speaker. All right, I'm gonna go back to the Yezu and turn off the narrow filter. Cutting out that extra signal. Let's turn it back on. Back to Sony. And then the last test here. I'm going to uh, turn on the uh, digital noise reduction on the Yezu, which is interesting for voice. So let's see if they're still talking. Okay. Not very distinguishable. The DNR is trying to resolve it, but it's not doing a very good job right now based on the signal strength. Turn it off. 
And one last move back to the sodium. We'll hear them together. All right. To wrap up here, one thing I should say is that <clears throat> I am not using my tuner on top of that. That is disconnected, just so you know. So I want to have an even comparison between the two receivers. Uh, honestly, um, just as a simple test using one frequency, uh, the Sony holds up very, very well against the Yaesu. Um, it pulls the signal out, uh, I think, a little bit better overall and has a pretty good response. Now, Sony's not going to be as wide ranged in terms of frequencies, but uh, definitely holds its own using the same antenna, um, same signal. So, hope you enjoyed that comparison.